Show show. Now, I was going to begin this week on the. Uh, I think it'll be a nice midpoint of the Rick Ross 50 Cent battle. Time to update that to find who is the winner and the losing the situation. But before we get into that, I, I feel compelled to discuss first the rumors of a relationship between Chan and some transvestite. I don't know if the facts are true, but there is a lesson in this story. We must speak about first and foremost and get that out so that you can learn something. I'm a child of educators. I want to teach you something even through this story, even through Chinese Madness. That was a, a radio interview that was spread all over the internet. Some woman called up a man or whatever they like to call themselves and said, I am a transvestite and I had relations in the public nether regions with Chin. Don't know if it's true. Now, I have no fact. I don't know. She decided to put up a, a response to it. Didn't even listen to his response. It didn't even matter. In this story, there is a lesson. What is the lesson? I think that all of us, and I think I've spoken about this before, it is important that every person is able to understand honestly who they are and who they want to be. Because that will guide the decisions and steps you make in your life. If you want to do A, B, and C, you should just be honest and just say A, B, and C are things I want to do and move in that direction. I like to analyze myself all the time and understand that I am who, where I am because of the things I want to do and whoever I want to be. That, that's how I, I motivate myself. Now, even though it's good for you to understand who you are, it is also important to understand how others feel about you. Because how they feel about you may help or hurt you deciding you going to get where you want to be. Perfect example, Shingy. When you heard that there was a rumor that Shingy had a private relation with a transvestite, your reaction was probably like mine. <gasps> but it is Shingy. And that pause, that thought that it possibly could be true is called judgment. You have judged Shin. And you never want to be judged as a man for somebody to even assume this is true. I don't think if people heard this about me, they would they would think immediately that it was true. They would go, hell no. And that's what I want people to think about me. I want them to immediately go, hell no. When you heard this about Chingy, you paused. And that pause was judgment because you thought, hell, it's possible. I don't really think highly of a person. This is could be true. This is, and this is the problem with Chingy and many of us out there. Be aware of how people think about you. I know you feel that like you're the man, you're the woman, you're the best. Find out if other people feel the same way. Because many people think you sleep with transvestites too. Didn't even realize it. This is a little lesson from Bar the Beautiful. I think Chingy has been hurt most by the fact that we all assumed this was possibly true. I'm sure that really has a tear up inside. It really does hurt. To think that people would assume that this is possibly true. This is crazy. You don't want people to assume these types of things, but it's in a, it's the position that Shinny is currently in. Now, to the 50 Cent Rick Ross battle, I think Rick Ross uh, deeper than rap album coming out this week. It is time to at least at this point declare a winner. And that winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Rick Ross! You, my friend, have withstood the battle, and that makes you the winner. Have you defeated 50? I don't think so. But you have withstood the early barrage, and that makes you the winner. If there is a draw, it immediately goes to the person 50 is going after. Because we are judging 50 on what he did to Ja Rule. And as long as you battle 50 and don't get Ja Rule, you are the winner. Game. Winner. Did he destroy 50? Not so much. They went back and forth. And at the end of the fight, Game stood tall. He won. And I think the uh, early part of this battle, Rick Ross was all 50. But well, I don't know what happened. Maybe 50 got bored. 
from the curly stuff and the baby mama stuff. All the second half of this has been all Rick Ross. He's done a masterful job putting himself back in a tied situation because all draws go to Rick Ross. Good job, Rick. And now the other question is, maybe with this beef dying down, uh, Rick has decided that maybe he should wrap the Eminem because he's bored. People are asking, should he do that? In my opinion, Rick Ross, my 2008 rapper of the year for being in more videos than any other rapper in the history of the free world, should go after Eminem because I feel that he can withstand the barrage. If you are a rapper and you're beefing with someone, when you, the, the, the deciding factor of whether you should go after that person is if they can drop an ether on you and you still survive. That is the mark of how great Jay-Z is as an artist and as a rapper. Now I sent him ether and it stung him. It hit him dead in his chest. But he able to stand firm and still be Jay-Z. Hey, L. Cool J did it when he was given the ether by cannabis. He took it in the chest, but still strong. Other people, uh, not so much. It can kill you. But I think that Rick Ross, even if Eminem, I think Eminem has it in him to create an ether. I really do. The, the first song is always kind of kooky and whatnot, but I know he has it in him. Even if he shoots an ether, that is an undeniable, certified, Legendary 50 years of hip hop song forever and ever. Rick Ross can take it in chest, call all his buddies and little Wayne and them and come and do some remixes and stand firm. So, for that reason, Rick Ross, do it. Why not? Go for it. I'm rooting for you. Let's see what happens. Let's make things entertaining. And shout out to Jay the Kiss for pulling in 130,000 for his week without any radio songs. And I heard the album when I was with Charles Lesby from Quality Album. Very, very good stuff. I'm definitely with it. And I also want to give congratulations this week uh, to Ray J for a fantastic season of For the Love of Ray J. Fantastic. Fantastic. I knew for weeks ago he was going to end up with Cocktail. Don't ask me why I knew. I just did. All right? But shout out to Danger and shout out to the producers who found Danger. She's great for television. She's crazy. She got a, a just a cheetah on the side of her face. But that's all right. She's still cute. I have to forget that that thing is up there, but she's crazy, it is a cheetah, and she's good for TV. I like the, her being cast. And I know we're going to have another season for Love Ray J, and I want one. I would just ask the producers to please stop putting, and I don't mean to be mean, but the uncute girls can really be left, because the first three weeks we can just see y'all are out, because y'all ain't cute. And y'all, y'all get rid of them first. It's just not fair. It's not even entertaining. I want a pretty girl to get cut in the first week because it's just nothing but pretty women. So I front load it with this star after star after star. Find some more dangers. Put them on TV and you shall succeed. And I would like to announce that my guilty pleasure for this uh, next few months will be MTV's The Duel 2. Real World Real World Challenge. I'm waiting for Rachel to give me my L word moment, and I know it's coming out of the scene previews. I don't watch all the episodes straight through. If I've missed my Rachel L word moment, please contact me, because I really want to go back and make sure I see it. I saw it in the bathroom with mom. And I think she's gorgeous. So if I've missed my L word moment with Rachel, somebody out there let me know. And some relationships, I want to give some advice and perspective on a few situations. Uh, the first one being, you know. That I am, as the president of the 6969 Blues Union, dedicated to the the proliferation of blues and race states in the globe. I'm a huge supporter of Cream Step, aka Superhead. And I am happy to hear that Cream and Darius McCurry, aka Eddie Winslow, are married. And they're in love, and that's a beautiful thing. So, Cream, I'm glad you found love. Congratulations to you. Darius, let us talk. Are you sure? Are you sure, sure, if you are, I congratulate you, and I wish you nothing but the best. To everyone out there who immediately chuckled and thinks Darius is crazy, I would like to admit that if I was in his shoes, I could see that happening to me. What you people have failed to realize is that I'm so in the house, Corinne is very lovable. She's had a lot of practice. 
I'm sure she does a lot of things that would make a man feel like a king. And that is really all we want to feel like in life are kings. And I'm sure that she just caresses all those kingly parts that you need caressed all the time. I read the book. She did stuff for 10 hours straight. How can you not have a stand fall in love? I can understand me being Darius and fall in love with her in the house. I do not, however, think I have uh, the bravado or moxie to take that relationship from these four walls to the world. He has it. Congratulations to him. That's the point I don't get. But you have to understand that she is probably talented in the house. And I'm sure that is enough to make you fall in love. You out there have been with somebody you thought was a bum and a loser. Six months later, you're like, hey, I love this crazy bastard. How did this happen? M maybe that's what happened. Okay? I'm saying I can understand that. If you thought it through, congratulations to you. I guess if I could put myself in your shoes, I could see how it could have happened to me. Thank Jesus that it did not. Very happy about that. I also want to give some advice to Scott Storch. Uh, who was locked up this week for um, auto theft for a car he never turned back in, a Bentley he leased and gave to Little Kevin. I know Scott's been going through some things, some money problems, some drug abuse problems. There is also a lesson here to be learned for everyone. When you are giving gifts to your significant other, whether they be uh, your wife, your girlfriend, your side boo, someone you are courting, courting is in these days, I court, maybe you guys should start courting too. If you need to lease or lay away an item, it should not be a gift. If you can't buy full cash money and give it to somebody else, you give away somebody else's property. No lay away gifts, no leasing gifts. That was his property. You lease the gift, okay, that you couldn't afford at the time. That's not good, it's not smart, it's not business. It doesn't make sense. Who knows how long this is coming? I know you have more money than you can imagine. You got a $10 million yacht. Those things go away when you're on drugs. So this time from now on, if you're giving out gifts, own the gift. And if, I don't care how much money you have, if a woman that you are with is not your wife or has not had your children, you are not allowed, show show decree, to buy them any gift over four figures. Your max out is $999,900, whatever, 99 cents. You max out there. You can't get nobody. You couldn't a Lexus or a Bentley or a ring. That's more than five, four figures. That's it. Taking the dinner, movies, trips. That's it. Four figures. Unless you are putting in effort to make this person legally bound to you. That's it. These are mistakes that Scott made. Please, ladies and gentlemen, don't allow yourself to make the same ones. And finally, I would like to end this off with um, just a sad, sad moment. I would like to announce the passing of uh, Casey's career. Cassie, whatever it is. I, it's over, baby. It's over. You cutting the side of your head means you don't have nothing else. You don't have anything else. People cut the side of their head after they've had hits. Or looking to jumpstart some things for some new hits. You ain't got no hits. And you already cut the top you have the top of your head. This is retribution for how you treated Ryan Leslie. That young brother could have made you hits for the next 10, 15, 20 years. But you ran with Puff, you threw away Ryan, you took all that goddamn talent. If you read Mark Curry's book, it lets you know Puff don't know how to do nothing, and you got no hits and you cut the side of your head. You cut the side of your natural ass hand. What is we gonna do, Casey? What is we gonna do?